bids are in. The gavel is dropped. Ladies and gentlemen, here at Wine Bid, we're finally hammered. That's right. This is Wine Bid's podcast dedicated to all things wine auction, wine value, wine retail, and just wine. With you as always, I'm Jeff McGurn, our host and on our marketing team here at Wine Bid. My compadre over here to my left or right. I don't know which it'll be on. It depends on if you're facing us or facing away from us. Hopefully or, you're just or, listening. You don't have to. You know. Yeah, you're just listening. Uh, is Paul Walker. Paul is our wine expert, or as, as most people know him in the industry, he's the grandmaster of the grand crew. That's what everybody calls him <laughs> all the time. Uh, in fact, it's a lot of people don't even I think the, the, term, Paul. the term the term master is no longer a, you know, it's grandmaster. And then it's not, a good, it's not a good term in parlance of our times. Let's just okay, that. let's move on. Okay, Paul, let's move on. <laughs> so I want to I want to jump into this. We're going to talk about what's coming in auction this week in the U.S. Uh, in this it's in the auction. When I say what's, what's coming in the auction. When I say it's, coming in, it's live come, currently. It's what's, what's new in the auction in right auction. now. What's you can bid on it. Auction. Well, right and I now. say that, I say that because it's what's new in auction, but there's other stuff from the U.S. in auction that rolled over from last week. This is just the stuff that went live this week. I want to jump right, right in. Boy, we've got eight lots of Screaming Eagle, Cabernet Sauvignon, 92, 95, 01, 02, 03, 04, 05, 06 for 10,252, 2,980, 2,435, 2,480, 23. Are you naming those prices in order? I feel like I'm a, I'm a used car salesman at this point. Like, 3995, 2680-3250. Uh so those are the prices respectively. But like all I mean, just like we it's kind of cool because I feel like we don't usually see this breadth of vintages from Screaming Eagle coming in. Usually it's you know newer stuff or they trickle in, but we've got right. eight lots of Screagle coming in. Well, yeah, and the, the including the 92, which is inaugural vintage. So it's it's always cool to see that in auction. It's a rare <laughs> one, very, very collectible. <laughs> Very collectible, ninety-two. Uh, and you said it's what it's over. It's ten over ten k reserve, right? Yeah, ten thousand five hundred reserve. Now, yeah. here. So my theme for this week uh, is old school cool. There's a lot of really cool wine coming in, old school stuff. We've got a bunch of Opus One coming in at eighty six, ninety one, uh, ninety two, ninety four, ninety six, ninety nine, oh two, thirteens. Uh, case of the 19, some overture, which is non vintage, but you know, that not um, non vintage, but you know, it's actually, it, it says is. ND. Native. What does the N stand for, vintage. Paul? What does the N Multi-native. stand for in ND? That's what I'm I got. That's, that's, that's what not I got. A term I'm I'll be accepting with. your apology now. Okay. <laughs> you won't get it. I'll I'll take that as an apology. Thank you, Paul. We've got a bunch of Camus. Oh, oh, I knew you were gonna I knew you were gonna say Camus. Well, because here, here's the thing. If I if I don't mention it, then you're like, oh, I'm surprised you didn't mention it this week. <laughs> right? You love this stuff. <laughs> but you're the one who always says the old the old Camus is really good stuff. 70 it is. Camus, it's great. 81, 87, great. 92. Yeah, the 83 40. special selection is is really it's obviously that's a that's a hot one because it's 385 which i thought was it's a serious price for came special i know the 84 has always been expensive but i saw the 83 i haven't seen in a long time but even just the non the non-reserve the non-special selection if you will the yeah the 79s in there you don't see every day 81 87 87 is really good i'm sure it's drinking great 92 and 94 so really nice collection of uh camas from older vintages for sure yeah just a lot of a lot of cool stuff there some cool a couple bottles of cool older insignia we've got a 92 uh joseph phelps insignia a 97 joseph phelps insignia yeah, which I, saw I know you you know the for... you know the 97 really well because it got a number five from wine spectators top 2000 i remember that wine actually on release it was in 2000 and it was very 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 intense wine it's extremely ripe it was uh i haven't had it in years and years and years but it was quite good and then I'm going to steal your thunder and mention some of the cool old Dominus we have from the 90s. I know you love, I know. You love your Dominus. Collection. 92, collection. 94. You uh, skipped right over. You went from C to D, but you skipped over the Chapelets. <laughs> you skipped what? right over the Chapelets. Did I? Did I? Yeah, did you I? really no, did. Uh, it, well, now that you've mentioned it, I think that's that's more than enough. <laughs> I don't think we need to talk anymore. No, the, the one I did want to point out. I think that's... No, no, no. Don't worry. I'm not going to talk about the 1980. I am going to talk about <laughs> 1997. I, damn it, Paul. I, the 1997 
Pritchard Hill Estate, which I would say if you had a choice between Insignia and Chapelet Pritchard Hill, I would pick the Pritchard Hill. And the price is only $140 reserve, which I believe it, Paul. Come on, man. Is Come a on. lot less. <laughs> you're like, you're going into all my bids. Jeez. <laughs> Hey, no, you gotta I gotta point out the values where they lie, you know. We gotta we gotta educate the, the robots that are listening. So no, I, yeah, I train the AI. No, <laughs> there's a bunch of really cool chapelets. Oh, I noticed some of these we have some of these Farniente cave collections, which is uh the stuff that they hold back and release later, which I thought was kind of interesting. I picked out the 94 for 115. I thought that's that quite a few. There are quite a few from the cave collection. I thought that was interesting. Yeah. Look, if you're into Dunn, this is the week for Dunn. There's like That's 32 true. lots of Dunn coming into auction from the... Yeah, and, and large formats, too, of both the Napa and the, the Owl Mountain. So it's, a, it's yes. a... You're right. There's a lot of really cool old school wine uh, in this week, for sure. Uh, uh, another old school cool wine, 87 Montalena Estate, I thought was cool for 205. Yeah, uh, yeah, I saw that. I saw that. I was, I was a little concerned yesterday, actually, because... I noticed the Montalinas when I was looking through the selections, and then I said, "Uh oh," because they were all labeled as just sort of the normal, the the Napa Valley, the Appalachian Cab, and I was like, "Oh boy!" And so, fortunately, Kelly was able to jump on that and fix them all, so they're all now correctly labeled as a state um, because they do have multiple designations. But anyway, some great stuff for sure. Yeah. Um- We've got a, a ton of Saxon, like pages and pages. Yeah, there's, a, there's a lot of, yeah, you're right. There's a lot of Central Coast wine in this week. There's oh, a lot of Passerobel stuff for sure. What was the other label? I, I'm sorry, it's not in front of me, but. James Berry Vineyard. Yeah, but there's another Passerobel's wine that's, there's like a whole bunch. I'll, I'll look for it and I'll, I'll find it. There's, oh, I had actually picked up the 2012 Chapelet Pritchard Hill. Uh, which already has a bid on it from 220 to 230, just because I thought it was a good deal. Um, and I think that's a great wine. Got my eye on this Napa Valley Reserve Red from 2000. Oh, uh, yeah, I saw that. <laughs> already has a bid. That's, a, that's an old one. That's an old one. I didn't even know that the Reserve Project, Harlan's Project, well, at the time it was Bill Harlan's Project, no longer, but I didn't know it existed in 2000. So it must have been a, an early an early adopter. An, an early, early adopter. Cool. Just cool to see it. Someone's been yeah. like going for two hundo now. Uh, it was one ninety with one bit. Um, a bunch of cool old, and I'm I didn't I almost didn't want to even mention this. A bunch of cool old Dalla Valle Cabernet Sauvignon yes. from yeah. the nineties, ninety two, ninety three, ninety four, and two thousand. I thought those were really neat to see, and would probably be really cool to taste. I mean, those are great wines, right? Oh yeah, no, they're they're fantastic. There's I. I flagged the 94, the 92s and 94s. 94 is still drinking great. So, yeah, no, they're, um, those are very cool. Uh, ones. A mag of 04 Diamond Creek Red Rock Terrace, which has a bid on it, taking it from 425 to 445, if you want to get in on that. I actually didn't think at the 445, I actually don't think that price is crazy, you know, um, for a mag. No, I actually looked it up because I was like, is that right? <laughs> I was like, that seems pretty high, but yeah. Well, we, we've got the 03, a 750 is 200, a 2010 is 200 for 750, and then there's a 17 split for 85, which I was actually thinking about grabbing the 17 split. 85 bucks for a split of Diamond Creek is a pretty good deal. We've got tons, tons of Palmaire. Uh, like yeah, large there's format. A, there's a lot of Palmer. Yeah. There's a, a bunch of the large yeah. format stuff too, and some interesting vintages. So definitely check out. I mean, there's like 53 lots of Palmer that are coming into auction. <laughs> I was actually looking at this 78 Jordan Alexander Valley Cabernet Sauvignon Mag. Yes, who the Magnums, a couple mags of the 78 <laughs> Jordan, which is well, uh, I want to say the first vintage i don't know if that's right there might have been 77 or 76 but i think 78 might have been the first year it's an early vintage for sure and yeah, I, great 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 stuff great stuff 270 up to two eight. Both of the bottles have bids reasonably priced yeah. there is a bevy and this is another one that i love is claude duval there's a bevy yeah. of claude duval 26 lots coming to auction from the 80s all the way on up, some Merlot, Cabernet, Sauvignon, uh, some reserves, uh, Stag's Leap District. 
Zinfandel. Yeah. Important to point that out because I think a lot of people don't know that back in the day they did make well, everyone knows they make a reserve wine, but they made a Stag's Leap designation, which was a smaller production, and they're very, very good, and they they age incredibly well. And those wines, I think, are you know they're they're starting to get the praise they deserve. But for so many years, they were really kind of underrepresented, underpriced in the secondary market. I think so. I'm going to mention two more, and then I'm going to give you five minutes to wrap up because (laughs) we we really only have five minutes left in this podcast. Uh, 2012 Pisonia State Vineyard Pinot Noir. Hey, how did you know about those? That's funny. I I I didn't think you knew about them. I was the one who told you about Pisonia. I you <laughs> learned about them from from me. You're like Pahu. I was drinking those in the nineties. So you yeah. like Miomi, and I was like, you should try this Pisonia stuff. It's good. And you're like, oh no. Now I remember when these wines came out, and there's not. 98 in the auction, which is quite rare. It's got a bit on it, but, and they were expensive. They were really expensive too. And so I feel like the nineties vintages were somewhere in like the 40 plus range, which was a lot of money for, you know, for central coast Pinot Noir that, I mean, people knew Gary Pisoni, but I don't think this label, I really don't think there's a lot of it around. It's, it's pretty small production. if not very, and so it's cool to see 98 for in in at 86 right now, 01, and then all the way to 2012. So there's yeah. three different vintages spanning, yeah, a bunch of years. That, so I thought that was pretty cool. And yeah. then and I, I have to mention this. I, I have no idea how this wine would be, but it had two bids on it. A 96 to Maine Carneros Brute, which is 96. Like $25, $25 up to 27 bucks. But I thought that, that was cool. Domain It'd be Carneros. interesting to try. <laughs> yeah, that's like you can throw that in a champagne ringer tasting. The color looks fantastic. It actually, looks really, really good shape. It, so yeah, it's the shape colored really well. It's got a couple of bits on it too. It's got two bits on it. I, that's yeah. what I was saying. Is like I looked at it and I was like, this actually looks yeah, like it looks fairly good shape. Really, and, really, yeah. I mean, if you look at the glass, the color, you know, it can be in an indicator of of its clarity, and it looks it looks fantastic. Capsule and everything looks great. All right, all right, Paul, wow. you have. Three minutes, not a three minutes. More. Three minutes to go through your picks. I, yeah, they were like I, I timed myself. That's what I just did. It took me three minutes to get through all of that. All right, I see. There were like six. I was going to say there were sixty-five pages of new lines this week. So it's it insane. Um, it was insane. It's, it's been a challenge trying to find you know everything. But anyway, I'll start from the end of the alphabet just because I was just looking at well, these. Quick, quick, like bunnies. You're almost all right. 92 White Hall Lane, Morisoli. That caught mm-hmm. my eye just because they're they're rare and, and it's a great source of fruit. Still is today. So there's some Stony Hill Chardonnay, some Spotswood from the 80s, which is awesome. Uh, some Silverado Reserve, which you don't see that often. Not expensive. These wines are fantastic. There's a Mag of the 97, which you never see. A bunch of Sandlands. That's a uh, Turley winemaker, and I'm completely spacing on his name right now. But anyway, great, great wines. There's a whole bunch of vintages from 13, 14, all the way to, I think, 17 and 18. All different varieties there, including the Chenin Blanc, which is very good. There are some Paradigm cabs. I always you know, tout these wines because they're really inexpensive. And they're from you know, a fantastic source in Oakville, Heidi Barrett's. Um, winemaker great stuff and there's a few of those they're all under 100 bucks uh there's some really wild marcus and chardonnay it's um, just eye-popping prices for the 11 12 and 14 but also yeah. 10, 11 13 pinot noirs it's getting up there it's getting up there yeah some phenomenal uh laurel glenn 94 95 99 just had the 95 actually a couple of weeks ago it was fantastic it's 75 bucks it just it's way outperforms wines uh, that are, you know, twice and three times expensive. And so, yeah, there's some Hansel Chardonnay and Pinot Noir, including some really old Chardonnay, but also 05, I thought was a steal for 40 and 13 Chardonnay for 35 and also 14 for 35. And there's a bunch of bottles. So you'd probably be able to score it at the reserve. Not expensive at all. And that's really, really good wine. And there's some Fabia Chero Sur 19 and Oakville Cab 19. Uh, there's some second label and as well, the Chardonnay, which is very reasonable. I think it's 35. Let's see, 15 Isley Cab. And you mentioned the Dunn. There's some actually some great old Duckhorn Three Palms for low. There's the 84 and an 80. And there's also the 91 for 50. Fantastic wine 
from Great Great Vineyard near Calistoga there. And yeah, you mentioned Dominus. I think that was, you know, I had some few other picks here and there, but that was that was pretty much it for domestic stuff. And so one other thing I want to mention too is that Jeff and I try to get through as much as we can, but you know, we don't have obviously the time to go through all the thousands of lots that hit every week. So it's always worth checking the auction. We also have our picks are linked uh, on the homepage, on the blog page, excuse me. So lots of things to choose from. We'll have other things to feature as well. So stay tuned and thanks for listening. That's right. Thank you for listening. And this is Jeff McGurn, Paul Walker, wishing you happy bidding and cheers. Cheers. Cheers.